Hi, today I would like to present about Poisson distribution. So, Poisson distribution is invented by Simeone de Bonzon on 1837. So, Poisson distribution is normally used for prediction of number of events in a specified interval such as distance, volume and area. Now, I will show you a simple example of Poisson distribution. Suppose there is a male arrival in a house in a day and we take an average of 4 males will arrive in a day. And now, Poisson distribution will take the rule by predicting the number of males that will arrive for each day. Maybe 2, 3 or no male will arrive at all. So, this is how Poisson distribution operates. Now, I will show you the PDF of Poisson distribution. So, this is the PDF of Poisson distribution. And E is the natural base of logarithm. And K is the number of K factorial. And lambda is the number of events occurred in a specified time interval. And for the information, lambda is also the mean of Poisson distribution and also its variance. The application of Poisson distribution consists of management field, finance, radioactivity, biology, and also electrical system. Hi, I will now present to you about the Weibo distribution. Weibo distribution is named after Waldochi Weibo. It is first applied in 1933 by Rosin and Rambler to describe the particle size distribution. For the properties of Weibo distribution, it is one of the principal tools for reliability engineering. It is also used as a model of time for a failure for manufacture items. Other than that, it is also used for finance and climatology. I will now present to you the CDF and PDF of Weibo distribution. Take a look at this graph. This equation shows the PDF and the CDF of the Weibo distribution. As you can see, it is in terms of K, lambda, and x. So, for these parameters, x is the value of function being measured. For k, or often called as alpha, is the shape parameter associated with what is being measured. For lambda, or beta, as they usually call, is the scale parameter associated with what is being measured. Okay, take a look at the alpha parameter. If alpha is bigger than 1, the failure rate will increase over time. If it's equal to 1, means the failure rate will be constant. Thus, if it's less than 1, the failure rate will decrease over time. It is proven by the graph of this CDF. Now, for the scenarios of variable distribution in daily life. One of the scenarios used in daily life by variable distribution is the wind speed distribution. Variable distribution is to describe is used to describe wind speed distribution as the natural distribution often, often matches the Weibo distribution. It is used to calculate the amount of wind energy that can be harnessed or supplied in a generator. Hi, now I will present about Cauchy distribution. Cauchy distribution is a continuous probability distribution which was named after a French mathematician, Augustin Cauchy. It is a distribution with undefined mean and variance. It does not have finite moments of order greater than or equal to one. Only fractional absolute moments exist. The Cauchy distribution has no moment generating function. The Cauchy distribution also is used in mechanical, electrical theory, physical anthropology, and measurement and calibration problem. In real life, the Cauchy distribution is not often used in risk analysis. Meanwhile, its importance in physics is the result of it being solution to differential equation describing force resonance. On the other hand, in mathematics, it is closely related to Poisson kernel, which is the fundamental solution for the place equation in upper half limb. You like our video? Please like, comment, or share this video. Thank you for watching.